The offices of packaging solutions provider Nellipack in Venray in the Netherlands are stocked with many sheets, foils, rolls and large boxes. They are needed to produce safe packaging for medical devices. The planning process starts with the design and ends with the delivery of completed packaging solutions. The development of packaging normally starts with the customer coming in with a concept or design of the device itself. And what we do is, and a little bit unique to Nellipack is, we have developed uh, concept design sketching. So we use Sketchpad process to initiate the design around the package, around the product itself. So it's, uh, it's a bit like uh, drawing with ink. Um, what it does is a very quick process. It uh, happens there live in front of the customer and allows them to see the development of their idea on paper. So then following on from that, what we do, we then take it into our traditional 2D design model. And at that stage, we've got a clear path to where we want to go with the design based on the customer's feedback. Packaging for the medical device and pharmaceutical industries is subject to special requirements and the most stringent standards. Product validation is crucial. To save time and money for their customers, Nellipack focuses on this right during the development process. During the development, we are able to test our products. Uh, we have an own validation uh, laboratory. And uh, again, during uh, development, we can put them in a simulation or we can simulate uh, a transport. Uh, so we can see in a very early phase what the behavior of the packaging will be and if they will meet, if they will pass uh, the validation at the end. So in a pretty early stage, we know if we have to tweak the packaging a little bit to make sure that uh, the customer will pass this validation in a later stage. The packaging is put through various strenuous tests. Packaging and boxes have to withstand a number of environmental stresses, like a pressure chamber, for example. Closures are thoroughly tested and submerged in water to check the strength of seals at the edges. The packaging doesn't go into production until it's passed the entire series of tests with no damage. And even then, individual components undergo continuous testing to identify potential packaging defects and failures early on during the manufacturing stage. So one of the things we're always looking at the next evolution of what we offer our customers to help them with real world issues. So today one of the things that our customers have to do is they have to physically prototype product and then do their transportation testing. At that point in time it either passes or fails but you have a period of time often in the order of months have passed to find out that you're good or you have a problem. So we have developed a simulation model that allows us to do a thermoform simulation of the, the package itself and then take that into drop test, vibration, um, and, and other testing that will be coming down the track. Now this gives the customer a lot of information early in the process as to how successful that packaging design is going to be. Once all questions related to design, production costs and possible recycling have been solved with the customer, the packaging goes into production. Thanks to affixed individual labels, the products can always be identified and are now ready to go on their own safe journey. 